Well, hello and uh, welcome back to me uh, recreating my uh, classic Shredder Custom Armour. Now, as you can see, uh, previously I was telling you about the dry brushing technique um, and it's worked a treat making this uh, material, which is just hessian, look like metal. And I've created that kind of like chainmail look with the dry brushing, which is just lightly using a paintbrush with tiny bits of silver paint rubbed onto a paper towel and just lightly brushing over as a type like this kind of effect, creating that. So the next stage here, as you can see, are the spikes which have been uh, sprayed with chrome spray paint. Um, I've literally stuck two together and by doing that it's created these little wedges. So literally what is going to happen here is I've put the slots in as you can see and uh, by pushing these into the slot um, it will create a kind of spike effect that we all need for this armour and underneath there you will push the slots through in each side and therefore that secures this here um, you will notice that on this one, it's a slightly different shape. This is because this is actually the ones for the uh, legs. So they will be a slightly uh, different size as well. Uh, this one here is actually for the four, the arm, forearms. And uh, literally, eventually what will happen is, is these ones are slightly smaller. Exactly the same kind of design, but slightly smaller. So they'll all slot in to the sections here. Um, so yeah, I've got about another four to do with that one. And uh, the ones for the legs are actually repeated the same shape. So literally, again, they're all slot in like this. Um, and I've got another five to do there, as you can see. Um, and eventually, uh, I will have it all completed, slotted in like that, pushed through. And the next step will be to... Uh, apply the actual um, arm pads which I shall show you on the next uh, bid. Okay guys, well, have a great day. The Shredder says sayonara for now.